Hey, so today it's Casper's first day at nursery um, and I thought I would film the whole experience because with the first two, to be honest, I dropped them off and it was fine. I didn't give a second thought to it. But with Casper, this has been deliberated over for months and months and months. Um, and even now, I really don't feel like he's quite ready. He's still just my baby. So as you can see, um, I delayed getting up and delayed getting ready, almost as though I was gonna delay nursery start time, which clearly hasn't happened. So I've got no makeup on, I haven't even had a chance to wash my hair, do anything, but I think we're in the car, we've got everything. He doesn't even have an official like nursery starting school bag, that's how much I've been putting it off. Normally I love buying stuff for new stuff, yet in this case I really, really have put it off. So we're in the car, ready to go. I think he's none the wiser. Um, so we've just got to crack on and get on with it now. And in case you're wondering why I was waving around a pen, it's because I also forgot to name all of his belongings. All of a sudden I've remembered he's going to be with like 20 other tearaway toddlers who don't understand whose Casper's coat is. So I've suddenly come out the house with a pen, with his coat, and we're going to label the shit out of my child. Ass, are you ready to go to nursery? Yeah, should we go to school? You want to go to school? No. Baba. You want to be a baby? I don't think he knows either. So we are outside nursery. You can even hear my indicators there. Um, and, oh, I don't want to go in. I'm so nervous for him. I know he's going to be fine. And I always didn't want to be one of those really sickly sweet mums that bemoaned about their child going to nursery. Don't get me wrong, I'm really, really looking forward to having three hours in which I can run around and do all the shit that would normally take me three days with Casper in tow. So I am looking forward to the productiveness that might ensue. Failing that, I just might drink like bucket loads of tea and wallow in my own. Um, so we're gonna go in. Um, I can't avoid it any longer. I've also, you may notice, um, some Mama. bloggers... Yeah, Angel? Mm. We're gonna go, I know you don't need that for nursery. You don't need num num. Um, I know some blogger, bloggers... Bloggers? I know some bloggers recommend um, a bright, bold lip to uh, distract from tired eyes. My top tip for today is go with a huge, chunky, coloured scarf so that people don't notice these or at least that's my plan. I think I'm failing, but I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm just about to meet a whole new load of parents that also, that makes me very, very anxious. Um, so here we go, I can't avoid it. We are going to nursery. Oh God, that's already falling over. Right, unfortunately we didn't have the greatest of starts. Uh, Casper tripped over and now has a bloody lip, all because Mummy was trying to film the first day of nursery, so already we've got a crier, he's already got the dummy back in, he's not allowed the dummy, so we'll see how this goes. So I've just done the first drop off and Casper bawled his eyes out and was screaming mama, 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 but I know he's going to have a good time and it's really, really lovely and it's going to be great. They're going to give me a call at 10.30 to let me know how he's getting on. But to be honest, I mean, the worst thing was his lip, where he tripped over coming in and it's all swollen up a bit. So he looked so pitiful as he was saying mama and he had his lip and he was holding onto his blankie. So um, we'll see how it goes. It wasn't the easiest to drop offs. It wasn't exactly like a dream of, oh, he ran off and he went and played and he loved it. Um, so yeah, the idea of me sharing this to reassure other mums that all will be fine so far, isn't really going to plan. So we'll see how he gets on. I'll let you know about the 10.30 phone call. For now, I'm gonna head home, have some breakfast and get showered. And then I've got to pick up Hugo from school because we're going to go see or visit another new school for him today. So it's a load of new starts today, but I'm hoping by the end of it, um, we'll all be a lot happier about, you know, whether it's new schools or new nurseries. <sighs> Let's face it, it can't actually get much worse than that drop off that just happened.
it's gonna be okay I know kids go to nursery every day and they all survive and it's really fun and it's only three goddamn hours we'll see so I've managed to put makeup on, make myself a bit more presentable, ready to go and see Hugo's new school so the teachers and the headmistress don't really judgey judge me for looking like a rat bag turning up asking for a place for my son. And now I'm just kind of waiting, it's 10 past 10, the nursery are calling in about 20 minutes to give me an update and I'm doing what any um, responsible parent would do. I am drinking tea, I'm blogging on my computer and I'm ignoring all of the piled up dishes that need to be stacked in the dishwasher, the emptying of the dishwasher, the washing machine, um, because I really need to get a blog done and it will actually hopefully take my mind off it. Plus I've got all of this nervous energy which means that I'm talking loads so hopefully I can translate that talking nervous energy into some coherent blog post. If not, I'll probably reread it at about nine o'clock tonight and think, God, I was in a real state. So we shall see. So it's 10.30 on the dot, pretty much, and the nursery is just called, and hopefully you can tell from my smile that Casper settled. Um, apparently, five minutes after I left, he pretty much forgot my existence, uh, went and played with an abacus, and has been busy exploring ever since. His lip has come up slightly, but that was to be expected. He face planted a manhole cover, so I couldn't expect any less. But my nerves have been put on hold for now. So the plan for the rest of the hour and a half, um, hour and 45 minutes, is to go pick up Hugo, take him to a new exciting school where apparently they do PE an extra time a week so that is enough to convince a 10 year old that it might be a fun place to hang out five days a week um, and we'll see how that goes but I just thought I'd give you the update that my baby boy hasn't died at nursery he is perfectly safe and happy and I'm possibly not as bad a mother as I thought or as I felt so this could turn into a positive tale Fingers crossed. So I've picked up the monkey, the oldest monkey. We're gonna go and look at a new school to see if Hugo might feel, again, the indicators are on, um, might feel a little bit more settled, happy, and might get on a little bit more. What do you think, H? I don't know. He don't know, he don't know. So we're gonna go have a look at the school, see what we think, we'll let you know. Okay, so we're going to pick up, but because of Hugo's school appointment viewing, we're a little bit late for the first ever pickup. So I'll let you know how we get on. So we've got Casper, and he had fun. And here we are. Cas, Cas, come on, look, look. He doesn't want to. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> We had fun and we got some pictures of his first day and he settled in beautifully. So, oh, what a relief that was. I can't believe now we've got to wait another week for me to get three hours um, to do work and stuff. But it's out the way. And on another really, really positive note, the new school we went to give Hugo. Oh my goodness, it was out of this world amazing. Headmistress, bloody strict. But. Maybe it's what we need. Who knows? So we're gonna have a think about the new school, have a talk about it. Hugo really likes it. Um, I did. I forgot to hand in my uh, visitor badge thing. So um, I've got a nice lanyard for now. I quite like it. I feel a little bit important with the lanyard. Um, so we're gonna get in the car. We're gonna go and have some lunch, have a talk about all of our new days, new starts, and uh, I'll keep you updated. So we did it. And if you listen really, really carefully, you can hear the kettle. We picked up Casper from nursery, as you saw. Uh, dropped back Hugo to school, and I'm now home. Casper is fast asleep in the back of the car on the driveway. So I'm going to take this opportunity to have a cup of tea and then do all of those jobs that I should have done this morning, like loading the dishwasher, um, loading the washing machine, doing shitloads of stuff that I should have done in the three hours when Casper was at home. 
no, who's at nursery, um, I'm going to do them now in the time when he's napping in the car. Um, but thank you, oddly, for kind of sticking with me, being with me there today, especially on Instagram. All of the support has uh, really actually got me through this morning, which, oh my goodness, I know it's such a first world problem, but I know how torturous it can be dropping your little one off at nursery. As I said, I didn't feel it so badly with Hugo and Bruno. Um, I was really grateful for the break when they were little because there was only the 14 months between them. But now that Casper's my little babe and he's such a little joy to be around that it is um, painful to see him go off for just those three hours and you know, letting go this morning when he was calling mama and um, he'd hurt his lip, which isn't too bad. Um, all of those things. Um, it really, really racked my nerves this morning and broke my heart completely. But when I picked him up, they filled out the little form that he settled in well, he made a little friend, um, and it just goes to confirm that it really is true that they will be all right. Um, the tears do stop when you leave, eventually. Apparently it only took five minutes. Whether that was 10, who knows, I'll never know. And it made me feel better that they told me it was only five minutes. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, so stick with me and um, I'll let you know how we get on with the nursery and more importantly I will also be filming an update really soon about all of Hugo's updates because I wrote a uh, blog recently which you can find down there, I'll put the link down there about um, Hugo in general and the behaviour issues that we've had that have led to us looking to move his school and I'm going to film an update answering all the questions that uh, lots of people have asked on Instagram and on the blog and in emails so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that but thanks for sticking with me. This is the aftermath of nursery. Wednesdays, I can get used to you.